Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. So I'm super excited about this video in particular because Tracy Ellis Ross has created and launched her own line of hair care products, specifically for curly girls that are ranging from 3C to 4C curly hair. In other words, curly, coily, and tight texture patterns. Hence the name of the brand, Pattern Beauty. I've been a fan of Tracy Ellis Ross since Girlfriends. Anybody that knows that show knows what I'm talking about. In addition to loving the show, I also love her hair. She had the most beautiful curly hair and still does, but I just remember her hair just being so curly and free and just well tamed and healthy and just beautiful. And I always wish secretly that my hair kind of looked like that, but of course in a perfect world, but you know, I could still dream. But one day, hopefully my hair will get that big and voluminous and and curly and just, it, I just love her hair. When she came through with her line, I almost kind of felt like she knew that there was a need for something different, something special, something unique that will set her products apart from other products and other brands. And I honestly felt like she accomplished that and I'll talk a little bit more about that as I get into the video. But for now, let's go ahead and jump into what I received, what I got, what I purchased, and just kind of give you some highlights and background of each of these products. So when I got my product, it came in this big brown box and it's got, of course, pattern on tape all on the front and I just opened it up so when I opened up the box on top was a postcard of course with the beautiful Tracy Ellis Ross on the front and they also have a mission statement so it just states by purchasing pattern products you're helping to support organizations and programs that empower women and people of color so not only are you purchasing great quality products but you're also giving to a much greater cause so what I purchased was their on-the-go kit for curly coily and tight textures now let me explain something about the pricing. Now on her website, she does state that the pricing of the products are very affordable. However, and this is no shade, but celebrity affordability and regular people affordability are two totally separate things. I knew as soon as these products launched that it was gonna be on the pricey side because it's Tracy Ellis Ross. She is the daughter of Diana Ross. So we're talking about a woman that is upscale, she's high class, she's an A-list celebrity. She's going to bring nothing but the best. So the value of the on-the-go kit values between $24 to $27. $24 if you did the discount code that they gave you, but $27 if you didn't, plus the taxes and the shipping. It does come in this pretty jelly cosmetic bag, which I think is really cute. I can use this and put some things in. But inside of this bag, there are three items, which are three fluent ounces each. So let me show you what's inside. The claims of the hydration shampoo states that it's gentle, moisturizing, cleansing on the hair and scalp for removing dirt and buildup without stripping your hair moisture, and it's also very hydrating. It also states that the fragrance of the hydration shampoo has a clean, not overpowering scent. It has notes of exotic floral melange of jasmine, bergamot, and sweet almond. For the heavy conditioner, it states that it's nourishing and restorative. It's also hydrating, and the slip is easy for detangling. The fragrance is also not overpowering, and it has a blend of citrus, rose, and patchouli. The heavy conditioner also acts as a two-in-one. If you have dry, brittle hair, leave it on for 10 minutes as a reparative treatment mask to restore and revitalize your hair. And last, we have the leave-in, which is a lightweight product. It claims to restore and hydrate your hair, give soft curl definition, and seals in moisture before putting it into a protective style. It also has a blend of citrus, rose, and patchouli fragrance. You can also cocktail this with argan or jojoba oil for an extra boost of moisture. Now you'll notice that she distinguished the color of the leave-in from the regular conditioner. So the leave-in conditioner, as you'll notice, is in a much darker yellow color than the regular conditioner. So that way you're not confused. And also these tubes are refillable. If you're an eco-conscious person, you'll definitely appreciate that. I'm one of them, so I definitely appreciate it. Now there are two things in particular that I think kind of set her products and her line apart from other lines. The first one are the options. The options that she gives you for conditioners to cater to our different hair textures and types, which is medium, heavy, and intensive. So you have medium for curly hair, you have heavy for coily hair, and you have intensive for tight textured hair. I also like that Tracy realized that all curly girls gravitate more so to conditioners than shampoos, and this is why her conditioners are in a much bigger size bottle than the shampoo. Curly girls do not use a dime size. We don't know what a dime size is. We love to soak our hair in conditioners for hours at a time because 
because that's where we get the most nourishment in our hair. That's where we get the bounce back in our hair, especially if they're great quality clean ingredients. Our hair loves to soak up all the nutrients and just all the great benefits that your hair is going to get from that conditioner. Typically with most brands, you'll get one shampoo, one conditioner, one leave-in. And if you don't like that conditioner, you just don't like it. You either have to take it back or you just wasted some money. So there's no variety. There's no other options. At least with Tracy's line, if you don't like one conditioner, you could try the next or try the next. So you have three different ones. Surely one of those conditioners is going to work in your hair. So that's something I haven't seen with other brands or the companies or the level of conditioners that you can choose from. And there's nothing worse than getting a conditioner that you're just stuck with that just don't work for your hair. Nobody wants to waste money. Nobody wants to waste conditioner. The second thing that I found that I liked about her products is the design, the creativeness, the uniqueness, the stylishness, the artistic approach of these products. They are literally eye-catching. Get it? Eye-catching? <laughs> Even if these tubes did not have any writing on them and I just saw them in a store, I would immediately know because the way that they are designed that they are pattern beauty products. They're very distinctive. They're very unique. They stand out. And again, they're very eye-catching and very appealing. And I really like that about products. I don't know if you've noticed or realized but the eyes of each of these products are designed differently. Specifically, the face and the eye. You'll notice that, I'll start with the, the conditioners. The conditioners, you'll notice that the face of the conditioners are on the left-hand side. The eye is on the left-hand side. Now, because she offers three different types of conditioners, the eyes on each of the conditioners are different. I don't know if anybody's caught that or noticed that. So this is the medium conditioner. You notice the eye is closed. Now we're going to go up to the heavy. Notice the eye is open. And now we're going to go to the intense. And if you look closely, right under, not only is the eye open, but right under the eye is another line. Kind of like a, I say like a saggy, baggy eye. <laughs> but that's how you distinguish which conditioner is which. The eyes are different. Now, if you notice on the shampoo, the face is to the right and the eye is closed. Whoever thought of that design and, and to do it that way, very, very creative. So now that I've shown you all of the products that I have purchased and just giving you a little background of each of the items, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair off camera, just get it nice and soaking wet and just pretty much just jump on into this thing. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the shampoo, it says massage vigorously into scalp and wet hair. You can see it has a nice big open hole so that way you can refill it. Okay. Seems a little, seems to be creamy, runny at the same time. Ooh, yeah, it does have a very rich lather. As soon as I apply it to my hair, very rich lather. Very good. I like a good rich lather. I'm just gonna work it into my roots really good, working into my scalp. I do have a little product buildup from the uh, edge control, so I make sure I get my edges really good. I would say it has some pretty decent slip. I can get the product into my hair really well. My hair is not tensing up at all, so it's gliding through really easily. So I'm really liking that. It's also very penetrating. Feels very absorbent. And I feel like my hair is just really soaking up this shampoo really well. I'm noticing that it does not take a lot of product. I'm just heavy handed, but it really does not take a lot of product. Very, very foamy thick. I love it. Really love the shampoo. So I'm gonna to continue to work the product in very well, vigorously as it says, and then after that I'll move on to the conditioner. So the shampoo is washed out, and I must say my hair feels very, very soft. It feels very nourished, very moisturized. It just feels good. It doesn't feel like my hair is stripped of anything. It just feels like the shampoo just put moisture back into my hair that I was lacking a little bit. So yeah, it feels really good. So now we're just gonna move on to the heavy conditioner. It says amplified hydration. Oh, it's pretty thick. Look at that. It has a pretty 
pretty decent scent to it. I'm not, not going to complain about that. So I'm just going to apply, roast it in. Upon application, I can tell you right now, it is very penetrating, very absorbent. It's just soaking into my hair. But this feels really good, y'all. It's got some pretty decent slip. It has a great amount of moisture in this product. My hair is super, super soft. This is kind of like a deep moisture and a deep softness. This is not my norm. Feel, and it feels really, really good. Really good. So last is going to be the leave-in, which I'm scared because it is very, very rare for me to find a good leave-in. So we're about to put this to the test and see how this leave-in uh, holds up in my hair and it says it's supposed to define and moisturize So I'm just gonna use about This oh, it's kind of runny. So the leave-in has a little bit more run and wateriness to it So I'm gonna start with the back And again leave-ins are not my best friend but We're gonna see what happens I think it's a little bit too watery for my hair. I can, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know about this leave-in. I'm not thrilled, <laughs> not very thrilled. I need a styler. This is not gonna hold, cause I can, I can see the fuzz, it's, it's puffy. It's not gonna, it's not gonna, define my hair. So I had to break out the big gun on this one. So I gotta I gotta go to my Uncle Funky. So that's pretty much gonna be the gist of this. So I'm gonna do this off camera because this is gonna take a while. But just to kind of show you again, I'm just gonna put the leave in, work that into my hair, and then I'm gonna use the curly magic. And I'm just gonna twist this up as quick as I can. And then I'm gonna come back on camera and just kind of share you share with my share with you my thoughts and opinion on these um, products from Pattern Beauty. So I'll be right back. So I'm back and my hair is completely finished. It did take a very long time for me to complete this look. It took a long time to get all the twists in because I was tired and then I had to dry us. So I had to get up on the dryer. Then once I finished with that, then I pinned up my twists and I just put a few hair accessories in there just to complete the final look. So it was a very lengthy process. I'm glad I did this off camera and not on camera because it took so long but i'm done i'm finished with it and i'm just tired so these are my final thoughts about the pattern beauty products starting with the hydration shampoo the shampoo did just what it says it was cleansing my hair felt very clean it did not feel stripped out of any moistures so very cleansing it was also very hydrating and very moisturizing as well especially when i washed the shampoo out of my hair my hair still felt very soft and very moisturized i felt my hair had a lot of moisture that was still left in it it did not feel stripped out at all it has a rich creamy lather that my hair really liked with it being low porosity it really absorbed and penetrated into my hair so i was really happy about that overall my hair felt very clean very nourished very moisturized and very soft so i really love the shampoo the only con I would say would be the ingredients for the shampoo. The first five ingredients, um, the first one of course is water, but the rest of them I can't really make out what it is. I, I mean, they're like big words and I just didn't really see anything great about the first five ingredients. So I do think the ingredients could have been a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more natural for my liking. As far as the heavy conditioner, I really liked that conditioner. It was also very penetrating. It was also very moisturizing and very absorbent. It had a decent amount of slip, but not the best slip. I also like the fact that you can use the heavy conditioner as a two for one. You can use it as a deep conditioner for about 10 minutes. So I get two benefits out of one product. So that's really great. Overall, my hair felt very hydrated, very nourished, and the product washed out of my hair really nicely and left it very, very soft and very moisturized. And the only con, once again, would be the ingredients. I just see a lot of big words in there that I cannot pronounce. I don't know what it is. I don't think she really promoted this line as far as being natural products in terms of the ingredients. 
I think she was really just targeting and promoting the products for natural texture hair. So it wasn't the ingredients that she was really talking about, but I don't think she was really pushing the ingredients too big. I think she was just overall just targeting just the, the texture hair and the um, curl patterns. And lastly is the leave-in. The leave-in didn't really take to my hair like I would like for it to have taken to my hair, but it was to be expected. I mean, leave-ins don't really work for my hair, but it was an okay product. It just kind of, I felt sat on my hair a little bit. So I didn't really too much care a whole lot for the leave-in until I actually paired it with a um, oil. So when I paired it with an oil, it actually absorbed a little bit better into my hair, made my hair a little bit softer. But I was not going to spend $25 to get her oil. I have plenty of oils here, so I just use the oils that I have. So that did make a little bit of a difference. But again, I still wasn't very impressed uh, or thrilled with the leave-in, but it was okay. And again, the ingredients, once again, just a no-go. I didn't really get any definition and the moisture was not really there until I used the oil so I would have to say the product claims were not true for my hair with the leave-in. So my only two cons with this entire line would be pricing and ingredients. If you ask me if I think you should purchase these products or would I recommend these products, I would say yes and no. Yes, meaning if you don't care about the pricing, if you don't care about the ingredients, yes, these are decent products, I would recommend them. But if you do care about the pricing and the ingredients, then I will say no. I did not get the Demon brush because I don't do Demon brushes anymore. They just pull and tug at my hair. I also didn't get the microfiber towel because I can get a microfiber towel anywhere for way cheaper. And I did not get the clip because who's paying $10 for a hair clip when you go right down to the dollar store and get you a hair clip? So those are my thoughts on the Pattern Beauty line. If you're watching this video and you were kind of hesitant or didn't know whether to purchase or not, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you can take something away and hopefully, you know, you can make the best informed decision about your purchase or if you purchase. So I hope you enjoyed it though. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my Amazon store. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.